Hello there. <clears throat> Before you get too deep, go ahead and subscribe, man. Watch the come up as I come up. <laughs> I'm gonna turn from the nigga that's just sitting down at the computer to the coolest nigga on YouTube. And I was really cool for real. And I graduated with honors. I just wanna throw that in there so y'all won't think I'm a dumbass nigga. Yeah, I, I graduated top top forty percent I think. Yeah D. Anyway, subscribe, comment, like, share. <clears throat> Go to Blue Collar Cash, check out the merch. It's the basic. This new season called Basic. Building and stacking infinite cash. Um, these I make myself. Other merch, you get it on the website. Let's get into the next video. Danny Lay faces backlash after saying she can't get into, I don't know, let me see. A strong work ethic. Saying she can't get into Snowfall. I don't even know what the fuck Snowfall is. Let's see. Glover has raised nearly forty million dollars in Series A funding. Come on now, drop on some bombs for Killer Mike and Ryan Glover. Those who can do, those who can't criticize. Okay, Greenwood Bank, Michael Rinder. You know, Killer Mike always says, if all of us do a little, none of us have to do a lot. Killer Mike is doing more than a little, but he's doing his part and making change the way he sees fit, and I support the good brother hundred percent. Absolutely. Shout out to Killer Mike. And you know what? And I want to apologize to Killer Mike. I was supposed to open up an account and I never got to it because I honestly forgot, but I will today because well, I definitely want to support. Well, there's a lot of people on that waiting list. There's 600,000 people right. on the oh, waiting list so you okay. be 600,001. Okay. All right, cool. Did you, did you open your account? Did you guys? No, I haven't opened it. Yep, and I got my card already and everything. Really? Yeah, but it's not, you can't open your account yet. It's just a debit card right now that's um, got like a pre uh, paid amount of money. Mm -hmm. But then once you can open it, you know, once everything's up and operational. Well, okay. I'm going to do that today. Go well, get on the list, I should say. Salute to the good brother. I'm actually going to use it. I'm actually using that account for my business in Detroit for private label. So I'm going to use it as like a business account Dope. for that. Yeah, got to support. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's talk about Israel Adesanya and... It, He's a UFC fighter. He was trash talking on social media with a fellow UFC fighter, Kevin Holland, and things got a little bit out of control. Now, for context, Israel was responding to allegations that Kevin Holland made earlier this month against him. Listen to this. I think Israel Sanya has a d and he was doing steroids to get that d that next question. I don't want to talk about Israel Sanya. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. you guys always want to talk about Israel Sanya, and it's like, uh, he just lost. You know what I mean? He just lost a fight where he got beat up on the feet. He's supposed to be the best striker in, in the sport. And then he got taken down and beat up there. You guys don't talk about that, but you guys talk about him stepping up the weight class and doing this, him doing this, him doing that. So then everybody's going to view me as the bad guy because I'm up here telling you guys, you guys are f***ing nuts for riding his f***ing so damn hard. What was, they, right. what was they bleeping before? What did they say he got? He, they said he was on. He, he uh, accused him of being on steroids. And we had to bleep that. Oh, I didn't know that's probably cursed. He probably said F oh, steroids or something like that. Right. Something I just don't know what it was. He grew, yeah, I was. Like, what did he grow? What did he? What did he grow? Was it the top of the bar? <laughs> well, it's about Asanya went on social media. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you repeating it for? Oh, I didn't know. My bad. It's crazy. crazy. All right, reset, well, Israel Adesanya had uh, responded in Instagram story. He said, bro, I'll effing rape you. What? And what? Yes, that was his response to Kevin Holland. You know, uh, that's interesting because I was just listening to Glasses Malone yesterday on Gangster Chronicles podcast talking about men discipline, disciplining other men uh, by raping them. And that's something that we've heard before because remember when Ray J called back in the day? That's how he threatened Fab Bath. Yeah. Right. Well, he didn't say he would do it. He said not, he had people. Him. Yeah, people yeah. that would do it. But, and, but we also used to hear that about uh, Chip Knight as well. Chip Knight had people that would allegedly do All right, well, Israel Adesanya has since apologized. He said, last weekend, fight tuck escalated to a point in which I crossed the line. I understand the gravity of this word and how it can affect and hurt other people apart from my opponent, although that was never my intention. I am still growing under the spotlight, and I take this as a lesson to be more selective with words under pressure. 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> have you ever seen Mike Tyson in a press conference back? I was going to say the same thing. Mike Tyson <laughs> says, wow, Mike like, actually said something along those lines to him. I'll rape your daughter, right? No, 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 he said, I'll do it to the, he said, to the man. He said, no, no daughter. Boy, he's uh, talking to the I was just asking. I don't he remember. Bites. He told me he bite your hair off. No, he told the man he would do it to him. He, said, he actually did bite his hair off. He didn't, say, he, said, he didn't say rape. He said, I'll F you till you love me. That's what he said. Okay. Jesus All Christ right. Me. I'm just asking. <laughs> Some love to Danny Lay. People will be giving Danny Lay such a hard time. Uh, now, she was talking about the show Snowfall, and she said, Am I the only one that can't get into Snowfall? That's when uh, Ami Joseph responded and said, It's a black thing you wouldn't understand. He said, Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I saw that yesterday. Uh, I chuckled quite a, quite a, quite a few times. All right, well, you know, she deleted her message, but then she posted, I felt like I cry every other day. I just want my life to change already. I don't want to be here no more. I got no real love around me. Stop bullying that girl, man. Lord have mercy, yo. Jesus Christ, I'm telling you words. I'm going to say this, and I may be wrong, but this is the theory of mine. <clears throat> Danny Lane didn't really start having these problems until she started fucking with the baby. I'm just saying. I ain't saying he the cause of the problems, but she didn't start having the problems until she got with the baby. That's all I'm gonna say. Birds matter, bro. She been going through a lot the yeah, past few weeks. My God. Yeah, I mean, listen. Yeah, feel bad. Feel bad. It's not funny. She got to learn to laugh at something. Yeah, she got to laugh. She, she got to laugh at all. That tweet was just funny, just based off. If she go on a date, <clears throat> if she want to date over here on this side, man, she got to learn that over here on this side, we pick on people, man. We, we pick at people over here on this side. Sometimes it's to make them really hurt, and sometimes it's just for fun. She got to learn how to goddamn take that shit and laugh. You rich, bitch. Why is you mad at these broke bitches? Because that's all it is. is a bunch of broke bitches talking shit, bro. And if they got money, I'm pretty sure they ain't got more money than you, dog. You damn lay, bro. Stop entertaining these broke motherfuckers. Keep getting that bag. You fine as hell. I ain't telling you who to be with. <clears throat> Just know you fine as hell, so you really ain't got a goddamn self for nothing. I'm just saying, so. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting these motherfuckers get to you, Danny Lay. What the fuck is wrong with you? I fell in love off that one song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think it was your first project. It was a sample beat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't even remember how that shit go, but it's a hard ass song. Stop letting these folks get to you, man. Stuff, you know, the fact that people don't think she's black. That was just a funny tweet. I just laughed. That was because of all the yellow bone drama, but you know, it's just okay, guys. She, you, you told her how you felt about her, and y'all had some issues. She's learning. This is, she, this is the world. This is social media. You want to be a celebrity, this is what you sign up for. Some days people love you, some days people hate you, some days they don't even think about you. That, that, that's yeah, what but I can't, tell, I can't tell how it affects her. That's true. You know, and if it's affecting... Yeah. And that's true, too. Because she had a long run when nobody wasn't even really talking about her like that. You just, you famous. You just getting that other side of the fame. That's all. Take it. Take it for what it is, shorty. They're in a really negative way. Everybody just be more mindful. These are real human beings with feelings. And you know social media can affect your mental health, but I tell you what. I'm going to be real. I'm ready for this shit because it ain't hard for me to laugh at a ball. Danny Lay, don't go to our YouTube page and watch this video. Because <laughs> people are going to be in them YouTube comments saying, Angela, you caping for that white girl. Don't do it. Oh. Stop it. Don't, don't I just care about people. I don't want that somebody you. is feeling like that. You know, I don't care what race you are or what you are. It's just chill I'm out. Because if something happens, everybody's going to be like prayer hands. Right. All, all she got to do is just look at the first five comments. The first five comments of the people that you know, they usually leave something positive. And I don't usually go after that. Don't look, at, don't look at none of yes. the comments. How about that? You don't have to All right, well, that.
This year, everyone will report. Don't look at none of the comments, because yes, social That's media difficult. So social media can impact your mental health, and I can only imagine what Danny Lee. <coughs> Anyways, like I said before, Danny Lee don't don't even worry about that shit. BlueCollarCast.com is the website. Subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the notification bell and catch everything that's coming from us. Yeah.